Hey guys, welcome back to Cozy Tea. It is Rob. It is once again another Sunday. And thank you for coming back to the YouTube channel. It is snowy and icy outside, so I'm cozied up indoors with another video for you today. So go on and get yourself a cup of tea and a snack, and let's cozy up and talk about some art stuff. In today's art, I drew another fish. <laughs> for someone who's scared of ocean life and the ocean in general, I seem to draw a lot of marine life, but I think it's totally natural to be fascinated with what scares the hell out of you because how else am I supposed to, I don't know, defend myself? <laughs> not that not that I'm living in the ocean, but anywho, whatever. Um, yeah, it is a goldfish. I found this image on Unsplash. I get a lot of reference photos from there. So I found it on the app store in Apple. So if you're interested, check it out. Uh, not sponsored. I'm not big enough to be sponsored, but just a disclaimer. It is a good app and they got a lot of photos and you can search for damn near anything. And each photo has the artist on it. So you can check them out if you want to. And I think it's a really good resource. So check that out if you are looking for stock photos. But outside of that, uh, let's get into the topic of today's video. Today's video is going to be about self doubt. Cause oh boy, all last week I was hating on myself real hard. I don't know why, but the love was not there. Rob's number one enemy was Rob. And what a, what a twist, what a plot. Let me tell you a plot turn, a plot twist. I think that's what I was trying to say. We had a plot twist last week where the author of the book hated the book that he was writing and was so, I don't know, angry and irritated and lacking hope, which is not normal for me because I'm usually, despite whatever adversity I face, I'm pretty chipper and I usually do get what I want, even though I have to go through a bunch of obstacles to get there. Sometimes obstacles are so big and goals are so out there that I feel like it's just impossible. There's a sense of embarrassment every so often that comes forward when I think about the fact that I make videos and I've invested money into you know, a microphone and art supplies and I spend time every week planning a video and it's almost as if I think that this is going somewhere and the audacity of that idea. How dare I expect some form of success by doing this in the future? And also, why can't I just draw on my own? Why do I have to make videos? And why do I have to post them online? You know, it, it kind of is a part of the want of doing art is to share it and not to just keep it to myself. But there is like an element of me putting myself out there and sharing my life. I've talked a little bit about, you know, some of my insecurities, my sobriety, which has been like my deepest, darkest secret, um, maybe more to my myself than... I have ever really thought it to be, but it is an uncomfortable topic to talk about. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I'm kind of just letting loose here. And it's like, what's the point of it? Why, why share those things? Why make videos? Why do I think people want to hear me talk? You know, it's just like really nonsense and just self-hatred for the sake of what was me feel bad for me. Oh my God. And I really hate when I get down like this because it happens and it sucks and I have to break myself out of it. And it takes work because it doesn't just happen. I don't just feel better tomorrow. I have to like reinforce positive ideas and I have to just keep going despite the, the shitty feeling that I have. And it's easier said than done. It's almost as if life has made me cynical and made me feel bad for wanting more of my life than maybe I have just been naturally provided with. And that's so dumb. That's so dumb to feel insecure about having dreams and to feel stupid for taking the proper action to, you know, pursue those dreams. And the only person who thinks it's stupid is me today, this week, last week. Um, I, I don't think that anyone who is watching this particularly feels that way, but I feel that way. So that's what the video is about, is how to deal with these negative, shitty-ass thoughts and how to get yourself out of your little, sorry, oh my god, my life, get yourself out of that little corner and get out here and start bussing like a bad one. First and foremost, Rome was not built in a night or a day or an hour. Rome was built over a long period of time. 
It also did fall, but we're not going to talk about that part. So patience here is really, really important and just doing it and sticking with it because Rome, when it was built, probably had a lot of flaws and wasn't perfect, but it eventually became a very thriving society. And I mean, technically, it's still called Rome. I've actually been there. The Colosseo is still standing, so it, it's still like m very relevant, which is lit. It, it's actually quite neat. So I guess ultimately you never know what you're building until you build it and it's there and you can see it thrive. And I just try to remember that, that I don't know where I'm going to be in two or three years if I keep doing this, but I do kind of have an idea where I will be if I don't do this for the next two or three years. Um, I will definitely be, I guess, where I am and... <laughs> more or less that's not the worst place to be but it's certainly not you know what I dream about at night when I'm sleeping like a little baby there's also this reminder that I have to provide myself that art is really important and I still sometimes question that because I don't know have you ever thought about it like at its bare roots you think about like dancing I was talking to my boyfriend about this earlier this or last week and I was just saying like the very idea of dancing itself is just really strange. Moving your body, gyrating, you know, doing these moves, I guess, to music. I know for a lot of cultures, it's more of a cultural expression and a ceremonial thing. Uh, maybe where language lacked, there was physical gestures that spoke more. But in our world today, uh, I don't see, you know, the usefulness of dance outside of exercise and it just being fun if you like to do it. It within itself, it, it is, it's a thing. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's definitely a vibe, but it's also not everyone's cup of tea. And I guess that is what art is. Um, I don't particularly care for dancing that much. And it is weird to think about dancing as it is and as it stands. Um, but to people who love dance, it speaks volumes. And people who enjoy dancing, they have really big smiles on their faces when they're doing it. You think about singing, people are literally standing on stage and they're just screaming like really loud and they're saying words like one word for an extended period of time and if you were to just say the song it would probably take you like 15 seconds but they're taking like three or four minutes to say i love you or something and yet it, it's so inspiring and it gives you goosebumps and the way it sounds is so cool and all that that it it's transformative in some way Painting and drawing and all of that to me is really cool because it's just awesome to see that a human's hand can create a world that you can either reprint what has already existed. You can take this tree and put it on paper and it tells me a lot about that tree because I can see how much time you spent looking at it. Also to see an animation, to watch like a Studio Ghibli film, even though some of the storylines are not kind of questionable, but it's amazing to see, you know, these characters come to life in these worlds and what someone is capable of making. It's just incredible. In my opinion, I think self-doubt comes from insecurity. I think it's rooted in a lack of purpose for what it is that you want to provide to the world. And I haven't fully defined exactly what it is that I want to give the world with my art or maybe my voice. And there are a lot of ideas that I have, but they're all so scatterbrained that, you know, this channel will be all over the place if I don't kind of solidify what it is. And I guess as of now, I'm trying to be maybe more inspo by doing these voiceovers and talking to people and, you know, talking about hardships and how I get through them. But I would also maybe at some point like to entertain. So breaking out of that shell, I think, is the only way that's really going to make me feel better. And I guess ultimately when it comes to self-doubt, what I do is I just don't listen to it. I acknowledge that I have those thoughts and those feelings, but I don't allow them to fester. And if I feel like it's interfering with my progress, I'm just going to do it anyway. I almost did make a video today because I felt so down, but I said I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the video anyway. And I feel better. I feel better that I did it as opposed to not doing it. But I still feel a little bit, you know, ick. So it is what it is. Uh, Self-doubt sucks, but I think ultimately the cure for that is to just persevere and keep on going. February is going to be a great month, um, and I, I have high hopes for it. I'm going to be working on some stuff and hopefully do some product reviews and 
maybe add a little bit more life and interest to this channel. So I just have to remind myself that there is practicality to art. I'm not, you know, doing heart surgery and curing people's diseases and stuff, but maybe I can encourage someone to get up and to do something. Maybe I can give someone a little spark of, you know, self-love and, and, you know, allow them to understand it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to feel ick, but to do it anyway and to allow yourself the privilege of being happy and to allow yourself to work on it because it's not without value. You don't have to be sending criminals to jail and saving, you know, people from whatever to be practical and to have uh, some, some form of use and value in society. So just don't allow yourself to crumble thinking that your purpose is not valid. And I refuse to allow myself or anyone else to tell me that I am not valid. Let me tell you that for sure. I've heard it one too many times and I will not hear it again. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope that maybe this little shorter version of what I normally do was a little bit interesting. And if you're feeling a little blue, maybe you can relate and just understand that you're not alone. Cool beans, guys. Yeah. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up <laughs> and hit the thumbs up. It helps me out with recommending my videos to other people, which inspires more people to create and do their art. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you get updated when I upload every Sunday. I just hit my desk. I hope that your ears are okay. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. I know I say it a lot, but I really mean it. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay cozy. Stay true. Remember, you are the person that is control of your destiny. No one else has that power but you. So take that power. Be strong. Be fierce. And get it done because you got this. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.